Welcome everyone. Take a few deep breaths. As, uh, the visual I was just getting before I started was the eyelashes. So just like the hair on your body and the hair on your head, your eyelashes are a conductor as well. And I was getting that energy of, of water. And they always say that sitting in mud is a better conductor, you know, if you want to like turn a light bulb on with your body. So I was getting that energy of, of wetting your eyelashes um, or being in water, but specifically your eyelashes were coming up and also fire coming out of your eyes. So your eyes are very important in healing as well. So that was the visual coming up for you guys. I have the message on the table for you, which is just my two deck abbreviated seven deck read today. But I also have three of my messages of the day to bring you. So we're gonna get right into that. Um, I, will I will pull a Fortune's Oracle for you before we start to set the tone. So what are the messages for us today? For the best and highest good of all those concerned. If any specific guides would like to come through, you're welcome. As long as it's, as long as it's a very high vibrational love light coming through. Let me know. So for the Twin Flames, this is for today, which is December 8th, 2023. December 8th, 2023 for the Twin Flames. We have the Angel, which is number two, which is the Divine Feminine. It's also the High Priestess or Higher Self. Your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey, so no worries. I'm also getting the energy of your lungs and to, to open your lungs, spread your wings. The star is also coming up with the 29, which is the three of wands or your gifts being present in the moment. And Sirius is coming up. The alignment with Sirius. Hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and positivity. And be the star that you are. The bottom of the deck here is the owl. Number 23 is the king of wands, but it's also the year this year. So we're winding up 23. So it's coming into focus and the wisdom that you may gain from this time period. There are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition. So that you are going through some kind of transition right now. And this is beautiful. So again, know that you, that your family's watching you from the other side. And the two, and again, your gifts. Be present to your gifts because you should be getting upgrades right now as well. So this is the first read on the table. And that's the Syrian Starseed deck is the main read and then the Rider Wait for Clarifiers. And I forgot to roll the dice last time. So let's Roll the die for you this time. For the Twin Flames, December 8, 2023, in the now moment. What is the message for the Twin Flames? And that's on the cusp right there. So we have Aquarius coming up right here, um, the nine, which is the Hermit and Virgo. And then we have, I'm seeing Neptune and Mercury. So I'm gonna turn that around so you can see Neptune with Mercury on top there. So Neptune and Mercury is Pisces and Virgo as well, which are both mutables. And then we have Virgo again in the middle with the Hermit. And with Mercury, we also have um, Gemini. So Gemini, Virgo, and Pisces are coming up. So all the mutables and then Aquarius, which is a fixed sign.
So I'm getting it's communication obviously with Mercury and Neptune is very dreamy. And I believe Neptune is going forward or direct. So straightening out those fantasies perhaps. I'm not feeling so wishy-washy anymore. So that could be coming in, you know, your communication could be shifting here along with Neptune's shift. And it is focusing on Virgo as far as Mercury here and then Aquarius, which I'm getting, you know, Aquarius is an air sign along with Gemini. So we have two air signs and then Virgo in the middle. But it's also a wa water, which I was just talking about with my visual, right? Aquarius is the water bearer. And that was coming up in the messages too, the water, air and water, which is the cyclone, right? When you spin air and water, it becomes the cyclone um, of water. Somebody else had just brought up air and water too, after I'd done my read with that. So it's very significant here. And I'm, now they're giving me the eyelashes. I'm getting that energy of, you know, when you open, open and close your eyes, you're, it's wind. And with water on the lashes, they're, they're giving me that energy of water and air and that cyclone energy. So very interesting. And with your water too. Um, stirring your water corrects the molecules. And then there's a, a new device out that spins your water for you. So I don't know if any of you have seen that, but that's coming up as well. All right, so this first read on the table and we're starting from the fourth. It is the eighth today, but the messages come through to you when they're meant to come through. Um, we have, the th and then the three messages of the, messages of the day after this. So this was done at 439 at Cut the Deck, and four is the Emperor, 39 is the Knight of Cups. And I completed it at 551, which is the Hierophant and the King of Swords. The major arcana in this read were the Wheel of Fortune. In this, it's called the Great Wheel. Abundance is the Empress. Uh, Alchemy, which is the Temperance card. And then Transition, which is the Death card. We have the Hanging Man after the read, which is the Hanging Man. And the Higher Self before the read. There were five cups, one wand, one pentacle, so 5.11 is coming up, so perhaps urgent excitement or fun is needed, but also the 51 of the King of Swords and the 1 of the Magician or the 5 of the Hierophant and 11 of Justice. We have the, um, the Page of Cups is the main character in the read. We also have the 9 of Cups prior to the read as well as, or actually in the read. Yeah, 9 of Cups is the underlying energy. And before the read is the 9 of Wands and the Queen of Swords. And after the read is the Page of Wands, King of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. We have triple ones, so very significant new beginnings. And you notice we have a cluster of aces in the middle, three aces, the Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and Ace of Cups. And then the Ace of Swords is right here above it. So this is cluster of aces and new beginnings. And then not, we have double nines and double tens. So that energy of nine, ten begin again. Very high compassion and high vibrational energies there in pushing in this new beginning or ushering it in. I keep getting the ushering in. And 9 and 10 is also Virgo to Libra, which is the middle of the astrological chart. So that is that energy being centered when, when in the transition, right, change. And then we have 12, which is the, the hanging man, 24 of the queen of wands, 45 of the five of cups, 57, which is the Three of Swords, and then 79, which for me is the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. And 19, the sun is also coming up as significant, which is interesting. So the sun, the sun as opposed to daughter is coming up as well because I just posted, I just posted a, a picture of my son. So um, the code line here is all about the number 25, which is the Knight of Wands coming up from nine, two, four, and 10. And acne was coming up. I don't know if someone's dealing with that. I was just getting um, AdSense as well. Alternating currents of that Christ consciousness in a sudden event with the hermit. So again, the hermit's coming up here, and this is from the fourth, so it's confirming the energies. 
Um, and then freshwater energy, which again, I'm getting Aquarius as the water barrier. Barrier, that's interesting. So there's water barriers or borders. And now I'm getting the cuticles because they're immune barriers. So they're different than your skin. The um, freshwater here is coming up. The, the acronym AB is freshwater and also semen. But also AE was coming up there with ash and bright light. So there's that energy of light and water, or again, the air and water. And the energy of one and two, which is the mass and the feminine. And AB and one, two, three, ABC has been coming up in these reads as well. The great wheel of destiny and taking a time out to ground and integrate the ten of pentacles, family, business, or community. That can be heaven on earth as well. Um, also, Dove was coming up. Dove and sudden events in Mexico, perhaps. Perhaps to see Mexico, the hermit, and some kind of um, adverse event. And also, and again, that ash of bright light. And nine and one is coming up. So again, that's the beginning and the end. The hermit's compassion in going into this new cycle to the greatness, the greatness of perhaps a four wheel, maybe someone got a new four wheel drive car, but that's coming up as well as perhaps a new house, but also thyroid testing is coming up here. So T3 and T4 were coming up, typing cast, perhaps for blood type, time out to ground and integrate, and then there, this also could reference four of a family of 10 or a business of 10. There's something significant about the four people. It's something archaeological. Um, so Southeast Mexico, also the Yucatan was coming up there. But also, Oaxaca has come up in years past for me in Mexico for you guys. So that could be coming up as well. And actually that Mexico looks like, that part looks like the tail of a fish. Uh, one, one upmanship is also coming up here, C9. So one up C9. And so there's that one to nine energy again of beginnings and endings. And nine is also the hermit which references the one and all as well. But I'm getting also the one-upping of Christ's Christ level of compassion. The one, two, one, two, which is the mass and feminine, mass and feminine vibration, but also the 12, 12 portal coming up in a destined time out to sit under the 10 of pentacles family tree. Um, the code here also came up meaning Mrs. MRS or married woman in Chinese. So one, one upping a married woman perhaps, C9, cloud nine, someone on cloud nine with Neptune coming up, and then the 1212 wheel, the tree of the four of cups. So again, that energy of sitting under a tree meditating or perhaps um, not seeing what's right in front of you because you're too much in your head and trying to ground yourself. So again, reminding you to sit under, sit under the tree or ground yourself, you know, get your feet in the grass or hug a tree. Regarding the Ten of Pentacles family or canopy, right? The canopy that you sit under of the family, business, or community. The dominant chord, C9, was also coming up of five notes. And often fifth is omitted or inverted. So that's an interesting energy too since four people were coming up. So there may be a fifth person who's being omitted here. Um, major third, perfect fifth, minor seventh, and major ninth. One upping the dominant chord. 12-12 destined, top dog with four offices perhaps and the Ten of Pentacles. So somebody could have, maybe there's a family business that has four offices now. And again, someone's being left out, a fifth. But remember the fifth is also the cumulative of the four elements being ether and the cumulative of, um, you know, when you're counting to five, you do three line through three one, I mean four ones, and then you'd put a line through it for the fifth line. So it's like a complete set, except you don't see the fifth. And that could be a silent partner as well. But typing, type and cast was coming up, 10-4, 10-4, 10-4, 10-4, 10-4, 10-4, 10-4, 10-4, 10-4, 10-4, 10-4, 10-4, 10-4, 10-4, 10-4, 10-4,
So message received. Big wheels, two wheelers, under the umbrella or under the canopy of the Ten of Pentacles. So all of those energies coming up. Um, September 21st also came up. But it's actually coming up as the number 9121, which I was surprised in Gematria that I got an answer because with those big numbers, you don't always get an answer. Um, so the, the entry for 9121 was uh, Comforter, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. He will teach you all things and bring into your remembrance all things that I said to you. The second entry was the Army of... the army of the voice, the logos, the host or creative hostess of the Elohim receives the name of Saboeth or Saboeth. Samuel, Samuel, Sabaoth is the name of the army or diverse forces of Samael. Um, 1212 came up as Beverly, awareness, power of God, scarecrow, which actually came up again today. Uh, Weinberg, Weinberg Schneck is one word. Androgynous goddess, God is within me. Juicy, Jose Marino. And then Frieden's Vertrog. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I trusted my heart, high, high, higher power. God's rapture, holy gene. So that's what came up with 1212. So we start here with the Nine of Cups reversed and the underlying energy. Here's the Nine of Cups with the mini cards on top. And beneath that Nine of Cups, I actually went all the way back to the King of Cups upright there with the Eight of Cups and Six of Wands. But then the Ace of Cups was reversed with the Nine of Wands reversed and then the Higher Self upright with the Queen of Swords upright, which could be a Pisces or Virgo person, and then the Seven of Wands reversed. So this King of Cups upright could also be a Pisces energy, but that energy of unconditional love, a family man perhaps, the King of Cups takes a walk or a ride, perhaps leading the way or with the King of Wands, uh, perhaps getting attention that's overwhelming for them. The Wounded Warrior reversed, surrendering to their higher self, the Queen of Swords or Virgo, defenseless or without excuse or no need to defend themselves, but someone here dissatisfied and not getting their wish or not not enjoying being alone or not wanting to be alone anymore. Even maybe they found their emotional sovereignty, but now they don't want to be alone anymore. Perhaps they dumped a load or burdens or responsibilities or defenseless victim with a confession that's destined here. The Knight of Cups reversed and the Empress upright, which can be mother and child. The, the uh, Queen of Swords defenseless dumping multiple emotional and or energetic loads destined to reject the empress or jealous of finding peace away from the king of wands. We have Libra and Taurus, Pisces or Virgo upright here. And then the king of cups and queen of swords both upright, but the nine of wands and nine of cups are both reversed. So all of the people energies are upright there, but there is a surrender and again, a lack of satisfaction or happiness or just no longer wanting to be alone. Dumped, given up, not wanting to be alone. As the higher self, Queen of Swords, is defenseless to getting schooled, perhaps by a strict mother, making peace with the King of Wands, who may be away or sent down the river. The Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles both reversed. Perhaps they lost a lot, whether it's time, money, energy, family member. While the Six of Wands is victorious in a lot of energy exchange here um, and in taking them in, perhaps sheltering them from the storm. On the horse, riding out in the storm in a shelter, back and forth perhaps to apologize or forgive, or again, build a bridge back to someone, getting over disappointment, whatever it takes, perhaps had the rug pulled out from under and triumphing over great family loss. It takes a lot of energy to forgive or a cover-up of a parent so that their child doesn't get in trouble. So this would be a parent covering up for their child. So the recent past is the Two of Cups and a nightmare with the High Priestess or Higher Self, perhaps the Quiet One and needing strength with the Magician upright over a loss or regret, Pisces or Virgo upright and Gemini 
and Leo reversed, or taming the beast between them. The foundation is abundance or the empress, perhaps not sleeping or unable to sleep with the lover or Gemini or awakening here, arising ab above Gemini, knight of swords upright or lover's deliverance or charging, inspired to howl at the moon or the empress can't sleep because of dogs or kids in the neighborhood, perhaps, or a lover with Taurus, Gemini and Cancer all upright, perhaps children are up or out all night or traveling with their father or the king of wands upright. The Empress may be jealous here or covering for the Knight of Cups reversed, who could be someone who's jealous or feels rejected or is just being moody. Or they could be an emotional player as well. So it could be a couple or partners here dissatisfied with the Empress, even though she's upright here. Perhaps the King of Cups and the Queen of Swords are dissatisfied with the Empress's apology. Maybe they didn't deem it worthy enough. Or the High Priestess, a magician weakened by dissatisfaction with the Empress. Perhaps the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords, um, their child, that could be siblings as well. And the King of Wands is with the Page of Wands child or the Empress, the Empress's kids and her grandchildren. So she could be dealing with multiple children with their children. So the central energy is the Ace of Wands reversed with the Two of Cups upright, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups reversed with the Two of Cups upright, the Empress frustrated, after the Two of Cups offered their time, money, and effort, which may have been a triggering offer for whatever reason. Maybe someone offers business, but without any love or passion behind it. Um, there could be overwhelmed, frustrated. Um, someone's not humored by a situation, perhaps abused. The evidence may be overwhelming and challenged by the wheel or destiny, the illusion or dreams without options, guarded and facing their worst fears out in the cold and without defense, and now crowning is the Four of Cups reversed and starting over or coming back into the shore, or that could be coming home from the shore as well. As the Fool is reversed in a fall from grace or on their face or starting over as the truth will set you free for those doing time coming clean or set free, awaken to the Queen of Wands reversed with the Ace of Wands reversed drama, perhaps after a sudden event. She could be an Aries reverse there or have Aries in her chart with the truth after foolishness with the whole truth to release the pain of the Ten of Swords reversed during overtime, not working out, coming clean or getting clean or cleaning up their act or space with ego versus awakening. Ego versus awakening of or to the Queen of Wands reversed and her abusive drama. Now she could just be exhausted here too. But she's got, it's the Ace of Wands, it's the Queen of Wands with the Ace of Wands reversed and the Tower reversed. So that's like a drama queen energy. Uh, there could be abuse there too though. Or she could be exhausted after some kind of sudden event and frustrated. Um, but anyway, after some kind of traumatic event, Soon coming up here is the Ten of Cups upright. So there is a happy family energy here or some kind of emotional fulfillment. It could be a happy ending as well as the Page of Cups with the Seven of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles both reversed. Uh, this Page of Cups could be defenseless or an innocent child investing in issues at work with the Ten of Cups family looking back at the Page of Swords and Knight of Wands both reversed. So there could be some kids or young workers who, who did something wrong or um, got in trouble for something. Um, there could be hardships here too. Perhaps a family is sad to leave them behind as the Twin Flames seeing themselves as the alchemist here, the patient angels, a higher love as the King of Pentacles reversed is called out by the Queen of Cups and the Emperor reversed, or the King of Pentacles reversed in a wake up call that the Queen of Cups without her father, who maybe, you know, that could be a death, right? Maybe she's no longer with her father is an, a the father is coming up as an angel now. So maybe he had a total turnaround personality or perhaps he's no longer with us, or there's no reunion due to imprisonment or anxiety and needing to detox. So then we have Sagittarius, Aquarius upright, Aries and Capi reversed. The patient King of Pentacles reversed. 
maybe having to wake people up or being maybe he's being the judge and jury. As the Queen of Cups is dealing with the Emperor reversed, out of control or stepping down from power, or perhaps no longer with us and having to deal with all the paperwork and things like that. Um, it also could be, you know, a parent who's out of control, whether it's their ego and trying to control everyone or they're losing their mind because they're getting dementia or something like that. As the Queen of Cups is upright, being the patient angel and the Emperor reverse, perhaps a bad influence or is hanging out with bad people, drinkers or gossipers, or he may be antisocial or detoxing in prison from a bad call. So we have the Knight of Cups reversed, who seems to be hiding behind the Empress upright, but the Queen of Cups is upright without the Emperor reversed father. Perhaps this Emperor reversed is hiding behind the Queen of Cups. It's like switched positions, right? Where the Knight of, you have the Knight of Cups and Queen of Cups, but the Knight of Cups is reversed, hiding behind the upright Empress, and the Queen of Cups is upright with the Emperor reversed, perhaps hiding behind her. Perhaps a uh, toxic King of Pentacles is in prison, but not the Emperor reversed, which may be the reason for this. This could be someone covering for their parent or vice versa. And around the twins are how they see, how they're seen by others is the Page of Cups upright walking away or taken away from the Page of Pentacles and Knight of Pentacles both reversed. So again, here's this, this pair of, of younger people who are both reversed and that could be their siblings at night too. And there, it's also showing the difference between the Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles and Knight of Pentacles, right? They're different than their siblings. So they're either walking away or taken away from those two or their siblings at night. That could be a pet someone can no longer afford to keep as well. A death ending or dark night and Hierophant or Scorpio and Taurus and Leo all upright and Aquarius here too. So there's all these fixed signs right there. To expose the powers that be, dark night or the grim reaper confesses to authorities, not letting anyone stand in their way as the page of cups is innocent and the page of pentacles and knight of pentacles in need of help. Two innocents Um, I can't read the word I wrote there. The two innocents are now detoxing from prison and perhaps the wrong kids got arrested for doing something or um, maybe two innocents, maybe their older siblings got them drunk or something and then everybody was carted away at a party, you know, that kind of situation could come up as well. But someone's detoxing from prison due to a confession of the perpetrator. So someone who was innocently either in prison or blamed, the perpetrator confessing, confesses not due to due process of wrongful conviction. We have Aries and Capricorn both reversed and the block here is transition or death and ending. The Page of Swords and Knight of Wands both reversed are settling out with the King of Swords upright, which can be an official, right? That could be a lawyer, a judge, a professional there, or a parent, or paying dues from their time, from other timelines perhaps, or the King of Swords was paid off, or there was a fear that this could happen despite his integrity or flawless reputation. Maybe someone thinks that anyone can ultimately be bought. This could be trying to pay off a judge as well. The Ten of Pentacles reversed family is spent perhaps after keeping to themselves about depression or arrogance around the nine of pentacles sovereign and the injustice of the queen of swords and the six of cups starting over that could be a mother and her children having to move or visit with hermit or unstable home under inspection with the ten of pentacles reversed and the five of cups reversed that family business or community may be getting over a loss it's an emotional loss as the Page of Wands is inspired by the King of Pentacles reversed, the Hermit's holding on and performing, juggling or holding on to the daily grind. With their world upside down or needing closure here, for the King of Pentacles reversed, telling the truth to the Hanging Man, the King of Cups upright on a quest, driving the Knight of Cups reversed, 
you know, it could be driving your kid around as the King of Cups could be Pisces and the Knight of Cups reverse could be Cancer here. Um, so that could be someone dealing with cancer as well. But it could definitely be a, you know, a father and child who are not talking right now or mad at each other or just a moody child. Or the King of Pentacles reversed hermit or Virgo shedding light on what really happened that night. The truth to awaken the Knight of Cups reversed or to reject and dispel old theories about what actually happened. So there should be some truth or clarity coming out that may have been a long time ago. Um, as far as the different suits, the, um, let's see here. So the cups came out the best suit here. Actually, the cups and the swords were in a good position here. Just the Knight of Cups is reversed and the Page of Swords reversed. But all of the pentacles are reversed in this read. And for the wands, it was like half and half. So the king and the page are upright, but the queen of wands and the knight of wands are reversed. And let's see here. The queens are half and half. Uh, the kings are all upright except for the king of pentacles. And then um, the knights are all reversed except for the knight of swords. And the pages are half and half. So the king of cups leads the way to where it all happened. Emotionally and physically out of control, forcing surrender of the higher self, or this could be a Pisces or Virgo queen of swords as well, or sister's integrity without, uh, without a need for an excuse. And dissatisfied with the empress being patient, or she is a patient, with the page of cups, that could be a new mother as well, a mother and child in the hospital, or detoxing after discharge together again. That could be someone who had to stay in the hospital for a while and they're finally back together again. Or at last, uninspired to pay when no love was received, or maybe someone feels that way, or having to pay when no love was received, or a couple who are tempted to pay for love or sex or for a project, but was turned down or ignored, challenged by destiny, wheels, Libra, forward motion, the story of the atom or the atom bomb or how the world began or supernova event. As the Ten of Cups upright is emotional fulfillment and transitioning to get over boredom or disillusionment, regret, or getting off the boat to gain their sea, their sea legs. Starting over on land or ground with the Ten of Pentacles reversed, family, business, or community, or a big end of a cycle, but the challenge being destiny and death or end after the world was, up, was turned upside down, or two sides of the family, or that energy of the, of the Capulets and the Montagues. The Ten of Pentacles reversed, getting over loss, with the Page of Wands upright, the King of Pentacles reversed, and inspiring the King of Pentacles reversed to tell the truth, to awakened or shocked Knight of Cups reversed, perhaps feeling rejected by them, or perhaps being told that the King of Cups fought for them. And that would be a big moment, right, if they think they don't love them. So... We have the King and Queen of Cups and the Page of Cups upright, but the Knight of Cups and Nine of Cups reversed. So this nine, the Knight of Cups could literally be that Nine of Cups who doesn't want to be alone anymore or feel alone even if they're with family. Perhaps the King of Pentacles reversed did walk away from the Page of Pentacles and Knight of Pentacles, but the King of Cups upright did not walk away from the Knight of Cups reverse, which could be a big shock to them. Or were the King of Pentacles reversed and the King of Cups upright and the Knight of Cups reversed, battling for the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Higher self, Queen of Swords, and again, that could be a Pisces or more likely Virgo with the Queen of Swords, defenseless with the Nine of Cups or Knight of Cups reversed, or rendering the Knight of Cups defenseless, one-to-one -one or face-to-face -face with the Empress or jealousy around her abundance, or the Empress covering for the Knight of Cups reversed, in, um, and their dissatisfaction with themselves or again a pregnant woman or partner rejecting them because they gained weight or the knight of cups reversed feeling shamed by the king of wands man of passion calling them fat 
and the Empress Mother defending them, that he is who he is. So this also brings up the energy of the movie Greater. And I think I brought this up last week as well. The older brother was always, you know, getting on the very much younger brother um, for, you know, eating all the time and the mother always giving him sweets and stuff like that. Um, and he was very, you know, in tip top shape, but he was much older than his brother. But his brother, even when he told him those stuff or called him fat, he didn't care. He just smiled and said, you know, I'm going to be who I'm going to be. And he kind of liked the fact that his mother doted on him. But we have the energy of the Empress Mother defending him, that he is who he is, and for the King of Wands to make peace with that. As the Empress is frustrated or uninspired to start over, challenged by the destiny or her calling with Taurus or Libra here, without passion in a partnership or a blended Ten of Cups family or Twin Flame or Sagittarius patient angel with the Ten of Cups upright and the Page of Cups transitioning to the Ten of Pentacles reversed family, perhaps another type of family or the extended family, maybe they have to go live with the extended family, or perhaps going away to school that's costing a lot of money, or the Ten of Cups family is happy to invest all they have to heal the Page of Wands and the King of Pentacles reversed or inspire them both to tell their story to awaken others with the same issues and to inspire them to believe in themselves and their own knowing even when loved ones tell them otherwise against all odds to win in the end with Taurus and Libra, Sagittarius and Scorpio all upright here to follow through with fairness and curiosity and drive those who are driven to follow your bliss, you know. So that is that this is this read. And again, um, I just pulled some tea leaves after that and uh, the pale was coming up, which is like a bailout energy, which resonates with this reading. So there definitely could be someone getting bailed out of something, whether it's jail or something else. Okay, so now we have the first message of the day, which is the, it starts with the mythic. All right, so we have the mythic and then the sexual tarot and then the fortune's oracle and then the rider weight at the bottom. The energies on the left are the underlying energies. I pick three, I usually take three cards and then any other cards that want to come out organically for numerology purposes and to sum up the message as well. So this was done on the 5th, um, 923 to 926, which is the all of the wands signs, the king of wands, queen of wands, knight and page of wands. And the numbers at the end came up as 1211 and 12419. And Gematria Charles Schwab came up, is true story, G. Um, uh, 111 in Charlottesville also came up under 1211. And then 12419 actually had an entry. I was surprised with that. And they went every one straight forward, whither the spirit was to go. They went and they turned, not when they went. I don't know if it makes sense to you, but that's what came up. Um, the hanging man, justice, divine feminine, divine masculine, received love from the sun. And 12 aligns with 12. So there's that energy of the 12, 12 gate again as well. So the 1212 gate, um, 419 also came up, which in Gematria was Hummingbird, Cincinnati Bengals, Luciferis, Ahaya, A-H-A-Y-A-H, Grateful, or is that Grateful? Damasius, Mirrors, Abram, Hagar, and Dishmeal, all one word. I am going to read the Bible, Reconciliation, Socrates, Timur, October 5th, October 8th, Buffett, an image of the beast. So December 1st, December 11th, December 24th, and January 9th were coming up, as well as the Hanging Man co-creating with the Queen of Wands, Leo, being strong. And that can be ego energy as well. We have Gemini, Pisces, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Aries, and Leo. The Magician's World aligns with the Queen of Wands' Sun. 
the magician and the high priestess co-create two receiving love from the hermit. The underlying energy at 943, which is the Hermit and the Three of Cups, was Seven of Prometheus, which represents sacrifice in this deck, the Mythic deck, the King of Cups, 37, and the Moon, 21, the Knight of Wands reversed, the Chariot with the Torch, Cancer, King of Cups, offering or receiving fire to romance the world, Sagittarius to the King of Cups, Pisces, Um, cancer there too with the knight of wands reverse player falling short or a one night stand perhaps or this could be someone being sexually abusive or just paralyzed maybe that could be someone's injured too right so they can't move or play games like they normally would because they got injured the underlying energy of the 44 and psyche which is the sacred union 13 of eos and new beginnings 39 of orpheus and faith 20 of apollo and clarity and then uranus who's the father, 22 of Hephaestus, which is all about work, the nine of Atlas and responsibility, the 24 of Hestia and home, the eight of Nemocene, inspiration, and the four of Hemera and rebirth, seven of Prometheus and sacrifice. So Hercules in transition with the Knight of Cups, perhaps Scorpio and Aquarius, Gemini, Aries, Virgo, Leo, Cancer, and Sagittarius. Orpheus going back to Hades with help from a light worker, while Apollo is with Uranus, there seems to be, this seems to be related to his love or his ex. And fool Hephaestus at work as usual, perhaps 5D Atlas Hermit with responsibilities and the Queen of Wands Hestia and Nemocene, uh, keeping the, uh, Hestus keeping, keeping the home fires burning and Nemocene, Nemocene inspiring after Hemera is content in a rebirth with Prometheus 4 to 7, which is the sweet spot and also the heart to the crown. And Prometheus is the one who gifted us fire, right? The man with fire from Hestus pot. And that could be someone who smokes pot. So it's coming up from her fiery stores. So to either taking from her stores or she's getting high. Prometheus in the four to seven sweet spot of heart to crown. The man with fire taking it from Hestia's pot. That could be also vampiring. Finding Nemo to rebirth and make a sacrifice. As Perseus 42 with the courage with Medusa on his side. And the 29 of Persephone awakening and number 21 Pan who's like nature boy. The dark man of fire and water, or two of cups in the chariot. The gift of Persephone present to Pan. The goal or... Oh, the goat or ram with multiple men here could be vying for her attention. As the 26th of the Page of Wands, Hermes with lots of messages here. And the masculine... Um, sexual organs were coming up so the, the the balls and the penis were coming up the 44 and 22 were coming up as gates with the knight of cups um, transitioning to wake up the father or grandfather number one Hephaestus at busy at work with wife and kids perhaps brother and father around them perhaps taking care of them or you know keeping them working or um, the strong emperor driving it home, using Perseus and Persephone to get to Pan, nature boy, of the world or Pisces. Prometheus is the initiator here, with three to resonate like Newton's cradle. Prometheus is coming up as the cardinal sign initiating, with three to resonate through to Hermes, which is then the um, mutable energy who gets the word out on the other side. The Emperor driving the Two of Cups to see the world. And driving Miss Daisy has been coming up through this message as well. The Nine of the Wounded Warrior telling his sob story about the Nine of Swords nightmare or porn or sex dungeon with the Black Cat or in the countryside with Batman, <coughs> excuse me, dragging his goat with flame in right hand, handing the baton to the bird who's flying in. It's like some kind of dark energy there expecting them to slave for them. 
in the basement and the spa, tossing away the good book by candlelight, while the turtle is slow but getting there. But will the black cat get there first to the dessert? The man begging the queen of pentacles or sucking her toes or kissing her feet as the drag queen loads another arrow, or this could be a masculine female or feminine male, death becomes her while someone's running the show behind their back or one of them being distracted while they're being stolen from or it's just porn again or their hands tied and then a change of season or, oh, that's interesting. I meant to say a change of scene or season as memories burn in the fireplace or someone's pregnant or did it on purpose as the king of cups with ice cream and TV dinners on the floor with pet and or child or the king of cups with his mistress or redheads here or inbreeding here or a, this could be a scamming couple too, a fa but not like a, it, it seems more like a father and daughter couple who scam or manipulate to take advantage of others. At 1026 is the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Wands. An Ace of Pentacles in the altar or boudoir, or the boudoir that's like an altar, with the tower of third party taken against their will or catching someone in the act. Um, it could be a racial issue there, where the fool is walking a fine line with snake at their heels. Perhaps a man's life is being threatened if he doesn't take care of their baby girl. So again, this could be a father-in-law who's mixed in with some dark business. This also could be a son-in-law who's the father's pet. The Seven of Swords or Page of Pentacles here with issues at the B&B &B or where the horses are or down at the ranch, perhaps distant while together, stripped of the truth as the Page of Pentacles gets her drunk as she cuts or burns herself. So again, she's hating, her, hating on herself. <coughs> Excuse me, I was just getting Hades too, right? So there's that energy of Persephone being dragged down to Hades, right? She had, to marry, she had to marry him and then her mother finally fought for her to be back a third of, a third of the year. I forget which side she's a third home and two thirds away, something like that. But perhaps a sudden sexual event here and then walking away in a leap of faith. Perhaps parents struggling with a teen, drinking or having sex or hurting themselves to dull the pain. Scorpio and Aries, water and earth. And again, this could be someone who's, you know, this could have been an arranged marriage by the parents. Or someone who was kidnapped and married, right? And then were with them all their lives. Um... But yeah, there's some kind of dark energy here. And it could just be stuck with someone that you don't like, you know, if it's an arranged marriage. But there could be a couple too who are really difficult parents to live with and the children are having a hard time here. Um, we have 1037, which is the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Cups. And the goals of the King of Cups Scorpio there also were all about the gold. As the 10, that could be the Olympics coming up here too. With the 10 and fire destined or Libra upheaval to break the chains on the journey where land meets sea, meets sky, meets the I am. The two of the angel, which is your header card and our higher self and the 23 of the owl, which also came up in the underlying energy there for you guys as the king of wands with dreams of love and romance to perhaps to complete his world with Pisces, Virgo and Aquarius here. And this could be somebody dreaming of, of, being somewhere else or in another relationship, maybe stuck in a relationship that with there's no love. The 35 of the wounded warrior surrenders to their heart with the gift of light and freedom, change and expansion, celebrations and a lover's romance. Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius, Taurus and Gemini here. As luck would have it with Sun and Leo, be careful who you trust, Empress. You can't fool Mother Nature. As the 11 of alignment or justice, truth and balance of the flowers or those who flow or Taurus and Libra blooming, perhaps Taurus in hiding as they, um, they have thorns to weather, conflict, competition or group issues blocking the sun. So it's definitely this issue of group, group efforts. This can be teams as well, since there's a lot of athletics coming up this year with the Olympics. The underlying energy here of standing up to the Queen of Swords reversed, who's draining the Queen of Wands, or the Queen of Swords who's nagging 
and kids or pets who are out of control. The Queen of Wands looks the other way, holding her flower, while tunneling through the Ten of Cups reversed unhappy family or emotional ending here to find peace on the other side with the Hermit's guidance or away from their light or cold weather, with Leo reversed Virgo upright and the Hermit sharing with others, the Wounded Warrior defensive and refusing to call the King of Wands reversed or make a bad call, which then limits their options, commitments or contracts, or the King of Wands reversed is disillusioned with a marriage or religion, or Taurus coming clean to Leo about Leo or pet or being strong in taming their beast, whether that's a pet or their own inner beast or somebody else who's a beast or their ego, flattened by temptation or perhaps flattered by temptation or realizing who's waving at them and two sides of Capricorn could be coming up here, right? Very responsible, hardworking, and perhaps um, a little devil on the other side. Or awaken to the devil child with codependencies, addictions, or a negative past, out of control children with Capricorn upright and Libra reversed in downturn or spin at the new moon. Or early this morning, which was the fifth, fell into temptation as Cancer reversed in Pisces with the divine feminine upright or they're up earlier than usual, or they were up all night feeling their morning, feeling their morning ritual. And that could be someone feeling another person. Coming full circle, uncomfortable not being able to walk away as the Queen of Cups is assessing the worth of practicality of their emotional dissatisfaction and being dumped on, triggered, or used by the King of Swords and no longer satisfied with the status quo emotionally or overwhelmed by the king of swords who could he's coming up upright as truthful but this could be someone who sees him as a liar or they're going through a split or demanding the truth while laying all their cards on the table with the nine of pentacles upright and the empress upright taking a load off in a dream world of the two of cups and high priestess or higher self or bird taking off with sister or pisces virgo and the knight of pentacles upright working to help the exiled, the injured, the ill to recover, offering the Ace of Pentacles upright, which could be time, money, effort, a new life, with focus on unity consciousness to get over loss or shame of losing or in a losing battle with their temper or a fallen angel, with Saggy, Aries, and the Emperor all reversed, but Justice and Libra and Scorpio are upright, or sudden justice or blowing their mind as the Emperor reversed versus the King of Cups reversed, or sudden fall of the King of Cups reversed and or emergency services here or emergency surgery. This could be a painful death, but not necessarily there. Or somebody may have felt like they were left for dead, right? This can also be an older person in there alone, right? Who fell and they can't get up. Or new information or clarity, but no peace of mind with the Knight of Swords reversed who fell or jumped to their death. There could be a suicide here and this would have happened already, and having nightmares about 9-11, or dark night with something to say but holding their tongue, perhaps lashing out at a religious leader and or kids to get out of their way so that they can leave the home or the compound. So there could be some kind of cult energy for somebody here too. <coughs> Obviously, that's not going to be for most people. That could be um, leaving the home or a visit, perhaps ending a visit early or a move, an unstable home or house, and given an ultimatum or being warned to make their choices very carefully, it won't be offered again, or urging them to choose a certain path, or actually only show them two of their th actual three options, holding one back, perhaps using that for leverage, or an offer they can't refuse, if they refuse the first two, as the King of Pentacles is upright, looking down at the Six of Wands and the Knight of Wands, both reversed, or sees them as losers or troublemakers. Perhaps they're the two he was trying to pawn off on the dark night or the Knight of swords reversed or the king of pentacles sending the boys to do a man's job and their offers were then rejected or businessman just can't find good help. Homeowners just can't find quality workers, affordable ones or ones who follow through call back or reasonable and honest or not just lip service here or young ones with good intentions, but then failing in experience. As the energy then was the Three of Swords and Five of Swords upright, with the Knight of Wands reversed, weathering the storm, 
with the Five of Swords upright standing their ground, no longer being flexible about poor communications and destruction of property, as the Queen of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles both reversed, may be ungrounded and losing money due to others' incompetence or family business or community dysfunction and not coming together and then just showing up without calling, expecting to just drop what they're doing to entertain the children or worried about drunk drivers and dropping the ball with kids or pets around or shouldn't have to worry about giving attention to workers, especially ones who are inappropriately flirting with you or are too aggressive with you and wanting to help or work or want to do or what to do with the kids now that school will be out with the bad influences around at Christmas break. And again, a lot of people drinking or kids sleeping all day to release their anxieties before going back to school again. Coming together at work or school with the Knight of Cups reversed, feeling rejected or lost, overwhelmed or working hard, but the Page of Wands reversed may be frustrated and disillusioned or bored with lover on the brain, or when school's out, kids will be hovering at home or at your work, which may be getting on your nerves. With the Knight of Cups and Page of Wands both reversed, you may be bored and looking for attention and or affection. Stressed out, not sleeping, headaches, nightmares due to foolish behavior, drinking, whatever, or embarrassment, tripping up or falling into that back and forth or heated exchanges or a lot of energetic exchange with the magician, right? Or the one with all the tools, the one making magic. With Cancer, Gemini, Upright, and Aries reversed, um, Gemini is also upright or Virgo there. Could be a Pisces reversed or Sagi reversed too. And Sagi and Pisces were coming up a lot um, together as well with issues between the King of Pentacles upright and the Queen of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles reversed with the Six of Wands and Knight of Wands between them or don't shoot the messenger. All four pages here and two knights, right? So in this cluster right here were all the kids. And again, that could be um, sleeping all day and dealing with kids and um, I was guided to open the Bible to a page for you guys right there at 636, which is the Lovers and Atlas. And it opened to St. John 12, page 182 to 83, which were the pages of Lazarus raised and Jesus anointed by Mary. So chapter 12 was coming up as the significant, but it was going from chapter 11 to 12. So you can read those two chapters if you want of John. Um, but there they made him supper and Martha served, but Lazarus was one of them that sat at the table with him. And remember Lazarus was the one he had just raised from the dead. And then that energy of the third was coming up regarding Advent, because that's when Advent started this year, where Mary anoints him. And 12.12 was on the next day. Much people that were come to the feast, when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, they took branches of palm trees and went forth to meet him and cried, Hosanna, blessed in the King of Israel that cometh in the name of the Lord. And Jesus, when he had found a young ass, sat thereon as it is written. And remember the ass is also the donkey, which is the, the energy of the key, the don key. So, uh, twelve five was also coming up with Judas, and Judas then asking why was this why was this ointment not sold and given to the poor? Like if you're such a wonderful couple there, right between Jesus and Mary, and twelve seven said that Mary had served it for his death occasion, and twelve eight for he will not always be there, but the poor will. So saying this was something very special from her that she had saved it for his death because they knew he was going to be hung. So then the next message of the day was coming up as, let's see which one here. So we have, um, this one was the journey of love and then the dreams tarot and then the wild unknown guidebook 
and then the rider weight at the bottom there but the same setup and this was done from six six thirty six which I just done that I started that that read and then I broke to open the Bible so that was at 636 and then dreams was at 704 and then while unknown was six and rider at seven and the, the numbers came out one 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 which the first entry is twin flames and gematria and then five two three one five the twin flames the queen of swords the empress capricorn devil or the hierophant king of wands devil so it's coming up either feminine energy with capricorn or the masculine energy with Capricorn or codependencies or di addictions energy there. And the five and the five of the two, two hierophants or the two who are free ushering in. And I looked up number 231, which the first entry was Matt, which like I told you, my son's name is Matthew and I posted him today. Look at Digital Gold, Polska, Anton, Gordon, Tora, T-O-R-A, Boris, Soccer, and Stan all came up. Two Hierophants ushering in Matt, or five again was coming up as that full set of one, 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 and then the line across, or the four elements, and then ether. And then I just, I actually phoned my son accidentally right there. So the sun is definitely a significant energy there, and that was at 720, which is the chariot and the judgment, which is also a call. So then 63 with the light field came up and 73 with the five of pentacles reversed, scorpion and the three of swords reversed, which is 57. Suffering in silence, perhaps dealing with a sister or just stressed out in the middle of a bridge, fully exposed to the light field and recovering with scorpion whose stinger is up to apologize, but obviously they're on the defense. Scorpion surprised between recovering from a work day out in the cold, giving or needing a jump start or startled but forgiven. With the 18 of the moon and distant shores and then four moons coming up here, and 1212 is the new moon, 1226 <laughs> is the next full moon, 1226, which is the day after Christmas. And it ends up, um, So April Fool's keeps coming up because March keeps coming up. And the it's like Easter is actually in March this year, which is so weird because I looked it up last year during this year. Um, but, you know, much earlier, you know, like in the springtime. And I, and I looked it up because of a specific number and it was coming up as in April. But now it's coming up as March 31st, which is really weird. Because I was, very, you know, I always check, check things twice or three times when I'm dealing with numbers. But anyway, it's coming up as March 31st this year. But March or April 9th is very significant because the day after death is, a, is, is on the thousand. So just like 2000 was significant to us. The day of April 9th is 739000, right? So that only comes up every thousand days, which is every, you know, almost three years. So, and then the even less frequency would then be the 10,000th 10, number, which I have that number for you too, or that date, that next date coming up. But, um, April 1st is the exact mid-moon, so which is that peaceful time, right, between the full and the new moon. Um, the four, four moons to the last moon would have been from July to November 28th regarding this energy of the light field. So one, is, one card is the person, the feminine energy under the bridge, being protected by the bridge, but it's in the water that's really rough. Whereas the masculine's on the bridge in the middle of the light field, unprotected. So she's in the water, but sheltered, and he's out of the water, but not. And then the 12 of self-initiation came up with 33, where God speaks. If you make the first move, God responds, ask and you shall receive, as the 61 is she risks to love. Stress in the cold, warm in the vortex, wisely initiating dance, 
as God replies across the bridge in kind, something in the way she loves me or moves. And there's that energy of expressive dance, which I've actually been doing in the mornings. The 52 of the Queen of Swords and the Ancient Ones, standing before them, the mighty sentinels, heart open wide, with the 24, which is the Queen of Wands, in the space between, painting a picture that comes to life. The 53 of the Knight of Swords and the Legacy of Light, suddenly he appears on her doorstep, perhaps with a sleeping bag. The 39 of the Knight of Cups, let the feminine lead the way. And the 55 of the Ace of Swords and Excalibur, the acceptance of the fairy tale, as J.C. watches. The Two of Wands reversed without a choice, and the Ace of Swords reversed, split to get to the truth. There could be someone divided or needing clarity here about the truth of the lovers. The affection of the Ten of Pentacles reversed and their world upside down or being in a 5D world and the dysfunction of the family, business or community and the Queen of Swords upright with the Five of Pentacles reversed. The lover's world turned upside down, the Queen of Swords recovering from exile and the The sun, and Michael Jackson was all over these cards here too. The sun, Michael Jackson, and the emperor upright in charge, boldly performing for the father who would never leave them or who would love and then leave them. There was another part in John that came up, 1225, that he that loveth his, his life shall lose it. And then again, greater comes up again. He that loveth his, his life shall lose it. And it's a tongue twister. He that hateth his life in, in, his, in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. And I can only imagine came up that night too. The one who sees in another way in a band or a bond in wisdom of the home without a choice the ace of swords reversed needing the truth of lovers and the ten of pentacles reversed the world reversed and the queen of swords upright who's had enough of recovery with justice reversed and michael jackson coming up there again the injustice of the hermit upright in need of strength with libra and leo reversed with virgo upright between and the patience of the wands with the palace of the wands upright here and the knight of swords upright rushing in the knight in shining armor coming into the palace of wands that grand place of passion letting the feminine lead the way after the vulture the bear and the elk and the scorpion with their tail up the old eagle who looks back and the bear faces the elk hothead ready for a fight perhaps over time with you here, a relic or someone being called all old or to be El Scorpion with their tail up in the air, the spider, the nightingale and the golden egg and which came up again today, the spy who loved me and a shower of power and a show of power at night in Gale, the golden egg trapped in the web to sing from the heart the golden child targeting the lamb, the golden child on the lamb, and the snake awakening the cheetah who's ready to pounce on it. And the, this, this whole thing came up again today. Starting over, present now, the emperor is powerless in a losing battle, unhappy with themselves, with the knight of swords and king of wands, upright, with new information or words, clarity, post-war with the king of swords reverse, standing up to depression, or hanging out with the wounded warrior who's sad and on guard and depressed, or shamed and destined patient angel, as the Libra and Sagittarius upright with the King of Pentacles and Knight, Knight of Cups upright, to the Page of Swords and Queen of Swords, getting their message across to the chariot without peace, being strong, receiving a passionate offer after a lot of hard work with the High Priestess or Higher Self, who's inspired to end the pain for joy with their lover out in the cold and the page of pentacles studying christ consciousness which is setting them free walking into that good night as the knight of pentacles is offered to share but the empress reversed wouldn't perhaps there's inequity between them with the divine feminine complete or the 
Knight of Pentacles who owes the Divine Feminine or Pisces or with Taurus in their chart, laying it all out on the table. First thing to assess their worth. Is this investment worth it with their lover, Gemini, or the Queen of Pentacles reversed, who's juggling the Page of Cups, teasing emotions to pull a rabbit out of a hat? Or the Page of Cups is in tears of joy, offering a new life to detox with the Queen of Cups, dumping emotional attachments to lead the way through or tunneling through the Ten of Cups unhappy family or this ending that's way overdue with the Six of Cups reversed or bad memories to get to the Ten of Pentacles upright with a lot of hard work for a long, long time. Atlas rising above in a heated exchange, insecure about apologizing or not having the tools, jumping right in to serenade perhaps as the Queen of Wands upright looks at justice or perhaps the reception committee, and then death, a final judgment call with Libra, Scorpio, Aquarius transitioning through a call, an announcement, or a wake up, a big one, with no choice for the King of Cups, with unstable home, or visit, move, or party, or the party is just over at 1028, which is the Wheel of Fortune, and the Two of Wands, where a helicopter came really close right there. And that could be someone, you know, that could be a famous person's home having a party. And the party's over when the helicopters come in. With the hermit coming out, imprisoned, or with hands tied, or under arrest, anxious to pull the first sword, perhaps hostage situation, with issues at work or with a job or in a divorce, a break in a contract, or about to go on a deep spiritual journey, Virgo, Taurus, and Scorpio all reversed right there, making a getaway or running from the Knight of Wands upright or cat and mouse leaping tall buildings in a single bound, drama, disaster after a sudden event or the Two of Cups is upright and then one to one, face to face, again, with great stress or unable to sleep, drained or in need of sunshine or over radiated. Perhaps they got burned and going back, they got burned going back to the central sun in the end at 1033, which is then the Wheel of Fortune and that Christ vibration again. So again, this energy of someone feeling like they got burned, but in the end, you know, everyone's going back to the central sun. So then the, the dates came up again regarding March, because March keeps coming up. And there's, I think there's a bunch of uh, conjunctions in March. So I was trying to look up and seek some kind of pattern here but there's there's no major aspecting on the ninth but there is a conjunction on the eighth and the tenth and that was interesting so the other days uh ramadan ends for eight actually the celebration is on the ninth so that is significant that day we also have um yeah so the ninth is day seven three nine zero 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 and it also adds up to 21 that day, which is completion. It's a Tuesday, the 15th, which is the shadow. And it's the 100th day exactly on a leap year, right? So it wouldn't normally be the 100th day. And um, it's the 22nd day of spring and the end of Ramadan. And it's in Aries, which is diamond and crystal. And it's also National Unicorn Day that day on the 9th. Uh, where did I write the other days? So the on the 8th, there's a conjunction in Aries between the sun and Chiron, 1924, which is the energy of giving the wounded healer, you know, that boost of energy from Aries and the sun. And then on the 10th, after the 9th, is Mars conjunct with Saturn, which is kind of the opposite, right? In Pisces, which is softening the aggression of Saturn and Mars, that disciplinarian energy. So the other two days that I looked up that were of significance, I looked back to July 14th, 2021, because that would have been the last time we hit 1,000. But going forward, January 4th, 2027, will be when we hit 740000. So that's another significant date. 
I looked back to 8-18-1999, and I, I couldn't find the connection. But if someone finds a connection with those dates, let me know, because I'm not an astrologist, obviously. And earthquakes were also coming up. And that's been being, um, right, we have earthquakes every day. But when they're significant and they're in populated areas, then that's when the real disaster happens. So someone had made a prediction I saw last year and the year before regarding um, either the spring of 23 or 24, I forget which it was, but regarding our own quake lines that start in around Tennessee or Missouri right there is the central. I forget exactly where it was, but it, it, it spans out very wide. And of course, you know about all the fault lines in California. So again, they're coming up. But mo you know, most of our earthquakes that come up as I looked in the earthquake uh, list are around Alaska out in the ocean where they're not really affecting anybody. So the Ides of March also came up at 7.02 here, which is 3.15. And again, that energy 3.15 to 3.31, which starts in Pisces, but ends up in Aries. And then the energy from 4.01, which is the Fool's Journey, right? April Fool's Day, into 4.9. So there's something specific about Ramadan there, because that's the celebration. And it was also coming up regarding now, which is Sagittarius, to Pisces. There's a connection there. So ascending to gold, December, as I always talk about Mr. Ed, and this is Mr. Ed's birthday, December 7th to December 13th. So I made a happy creator's uh, week this week for Mr. Ed. But the energy of Sagittarius and December Mr. Ed Archer's Gate ascending to the gold, right? The, the, the archer is very much about the Olympics, the horse, right? And strong legs and runners and all that kind of stuff. The archer's gate reflects and opposes Gemini as Mr. Ed crosses the finish line, the bridge, with June and Gemini, which is the opposite of Sagittarius. There's like a leap uh, straight through there. To the pillars of the twin romance in June, and June 17 is where Mercury and Venus conjunct. And December 10th is coming up as the key of the chariot or the ignition. And then January being Anu, right? January, A-N-U. Anu is the, um, right, the father of the Olympics, so to speak, because they all, the Anu and, and Lil and Enki all parallel with the Greek gods. So the Anu of January and Febril, or temperature rising in, into March, to April app of 12, 3, 4, shut the door, and then April Fool's Journey, with April showers and May flowers and June lovers celebrating lighting the torch from July to August, the home of the ray. And July was coming up as the jewels and the gold of August. And they're both Caesar, which is Cesare, which is home of the ray. Pick up sticks and lay them straight during the Olympics, picking up the torch April to June, and then aligning July to August seizing the day with September torch. And then October was coming up as O-C-T-O, -O, the October opus of the two humans embodied by source, 10-8, which is also Chi, C-H-A-I, and the connection of the two humans and their life's work. 9-10 begin again, November compassion and warm bright light, the bridge of triumph or the arc de triomphe of life, K Sarah Sarah was coming up as Sarah, the daughter of Mary and Jesus, will be RS2C. And again, Sarah was coming up and Shayra, Sarah, the home of the Ray. Sarah, Shayra. So again, in Paris, the ho there is coming up as confirming the home of Sarah. Sagittarius Gate or Union Archer. And Archer is the arc, the bridge to the new year, reflecting Gemini pillars and the Arc de Triomphe of Paris 33rd Olympics and 10 embers, the decline of fire, the ignition of the chariot, directed towards Ea 
and the spring fever of March through the storm, and leaving all behind come May, for new love, communication in June, and lighting the torch with Gemini jewels and gold rush in August in the home of the ray, and then jewels as far as J-O-U-L-E-S was coming up, the amount of work done or heat produced by a force of one Newton over a distance of one meter, and it's symbolized by J or Jesus which equals kinetic energy of a kilogram mass moving at one meter per second or amount of work done on an object by the force of one. One Newton acting through one meter, just like Newton's cradle. The force of the one, the initiator, the cardinal sign, right, hitting the three balls in the middle, which then vibrate through to the ball on the other end to send the message. And Eight, August 31st, 1889 is when that jewel term was officially adopted. And then the daughter rays were coming up again. And then Carrie came up, right? Like Kinetics and Carrie the movie, the first one, not the second one. But Newton's cradle warms the cradle. So this energy, so imagine Newton's cradle, the th five balls, and the two end balls up in the air in action. The energy of what, the energy that's lost in the three balls as the energy flows through those three balls was coming up as warmth to heat the cradle. The warm, it warms the cradle without any movement at all over the cradle, right? Where heat is lost, it can also be found. Um, Khan was also coming up here, it's the energy of Han. And Han Solo always comes up for me, but now Thor Han also comes up if you watch Elena Danan, the pearl left, turning loss into a gain. And again, the alchemist. Free space and the energy of the bell and the V were coming up as something with free space and the song, right? Emptying yourself so that source can flow through you. And again, the capital N for me is code for Christ. When it falls over into a Z when you're sleeping, it's because you fall asleep again, right? The human who's asleep and the N is the Christed self, the awakened one. And the seventh vertebrae was also coming up. The rocket, which is the rock ET, the stone ET, the path of one, the vertical support, the alignment of the neck and the hippocampus. Um, the feminine and masculine were also coming up as um, Adam is also spelled A-D-A-N, which then reflects E-D-E-N of Eden. So a Dan is coming up as the Dan tribe and also DNA and and, which is ET and the between. But a Dan is also after death AN, which is Anu, which is Enki's father or Ea's father, Anu. So the children of the Anunnaki, which we are, and then the Eden was coming up as Eve, of course, right? Adam is I am and Eve is I am with an E. So she comes up as Eden, which is E is the temple, or one equal and congruent to the den. And then Eve is also the V, right? E, E, V is, or V, E, E is the V, but also with E, which is the temple of the V, or creation, the feminine. And by the way, I was looking up the numbers because I knew that Ea was represented by number 40 and then Lil by 50, and Anu is represented by 60, as in, and it's actually a status number. So going forward, we have at 1047, the Wheel of Fortune and the Seven of Cups. Um, we go into the last message of the day here, which starts with the energy deck. So we have the energy deck here. Oh, it's not the energy deck. Is that the front? I'm sorry. Here we go. The energy deck and then... And then the journey of love, and then I use the good tarot, and then the rider weight at the bottom. But same setup, basically. Okay, so this was on the 7th yesterday. And I started at 123, 24, 25, 26. So again, we have all the wands energy, the king, the queen, the knight, and the page of wands. For the energy deck, the lovers of the journey, the um, journey of love the good tarot and the rider deck. 
The piles at the end came up as the numbers 1213 and 58421, which was very interesting because when you put them together, it was 12 on one end and 21 on the other. So 1221, but also the reflection of each other of the masculine and feminine, but also the hanged man and the world. And between them was 13584 of the twin flame gate holders transitioning the sleeping to the lambda leap, the lambda father leap. 1213 was coming up as decode, prepare yourself, Baltimore Ravens, blue sky, black death music, and I'm not crazy. Halloween night and snowballs also came up. And the 14th entry, which was significant coming up, was beginning instead of activation, octavation. So there's that October coming up, which just came up in my last message. But 14 was coming up as significant because the fortnight was coming up. And this has come up before in my talk about the week of God's birth, 12, seven to 12, 13 is the seven days. So the 13th day would be a day of rest. But then the fortnight came up in another read, which is also the fourth night. So the 14 days, which is also Sagittarius in the temperance card. So that would make sense, which takes you to the 20th, which then the completion date would be the next day. So the fourth fortnight and the fourth night taking you to the 20th and then in the shadow of all of this on the 21st which is the then the time in the shadow in the shade for the masculine and feminine right to not be in the sun right a time out so to speak so the hanging man and the death which came up right here which is jc right on the cross and then the four of swords with 58 and greased lightning five and eight are considered greased lightning because it's power and freedom right? Speed. The number four and then the 21 of the world of the divine feminine and masculine or laid to rest completely or forever. One to one or one to one. The three is the bird soaring horizontally towards the four of the vertical pillar of the lambda leap in greased lightning between the 5D connection of the crazy eights dance, the world, the whole complete. One to one wounded warrior dance with the two of cups partner as one. And then again, the 12 and 21 on either end with the 13584 came up, which actually had an entry in Gematria. And it said, as you probably know who I was before I did it, is getting too long, let me just fix that spelling error. I do this for the love of God. And then it was spelled Y-H-S-Y-K and J-W-S-K. Was that the doppelganger? or the ghostly double, right? The evil twin, because I am the real. (laughs) Will the real twin please stand up? Um, The third entry was my first Jehovah's Witness congregation was Adamsville, so then Adam came up again. But my mother took us to the Southwest congregation and now I live in the Southwest US. So obviously Jehovah's Witness was coming up and JW was coming up here and the energy. And when you look up J, the initials were JWSK. And when you look up JWS, because there is no JWSK, which K represents energy. um, JW with the six lines came up, but also represented by the letter, the number three. And in Egyptian, that means ox or male animal, sacrificial animal, beef. And then YSYK was coming up as light in Turkmen language. Light with H in their name. The sacrificial kisses and hugs energy. The energy of, of graduation or phaser in Polish. The zero point higher self or zero point energy. The divine masculine's energy. The twins of the feminine and masculine. Uh, YH alone is also, uh, YH by itself actually means alone the single parent or sole provider, and S-Y-K means ill, but also to arrive, equate, reach, finish, complete, to touch, rub, totally complete. And I had just written this. The single parent finished. So this is also representing someone who's finally finished their job. The underlying energy of the fifth chakra and Gabriel, 39 of the Knight of Cups, 57 of the Lovers, and nine of Water, or the 49. The two of Cups, 42. And with arms wide open was coming up right there too, the song. 
The Knight of Cups heals their heart, getting their wish of the Two of Cups, or one to one, with Archangel Gabriel and the Mermaid, the Trumpet and the Diamond, bridging angel calls on the Maiden of the Sea, lovers in the Two of Cups together in the vortex of air and water, a cyclone or cycle of one. The 49 Angel of Love and the 39 Knight of Cups with activated throat chakra are shocked to hear their voice. As the six is contracted by feeling the balance of the scales, the evenness, the fairness, equality of lovers between 39 and 29, the world or inner perspective and the outer or remote perspective and how you see or how you are seen from off planet on the world the three of the blossoming empress, mother nature and abundance of mother earth, which earth is the ear to the nth degree, which is also Ea earth, which is Enki, Enki's earth, the Anunnaki's earth, right? Where they're hybrids, so to speak. So Ea comes up also to bake here with RTH, cooking up something special by heating up from both perspectives to light a cool fire in the middle. And that comes up in the Syrian Starseed deck as that Knight of Wands, right? With a cool burn, a tempered burn. The 51 of the King of Swords, Healer of the Ages, comes up here with the 37 King of Cups and Archangel Shemuel with confidence to shine their light. The 22 of the Fool, but also the 5D Station and the Yin Yang, of the King of Swords and the King of Cups of air and water, that yin yang journey of the 5D station in the cyclone of the 34 energetic exchange, outside in and inside out, natural in and out with windows open wide, two sides of the same coin, which is also spelled Kohan or co-pilots, co-pi, that leap bridge of OTS, which is the tipping point, the end, Again, that, in, that energy of folding inside out of oneself through and through to the other side, going from the Pi symbol to the Pisces symbol. And the wisdom to know the difference. The door to personal healing and happiness and the 46 of the Six of Cups and the thinking man with two feathers in his cap. Aye, aye, Capitan. The crowning of the tan man, the human, the man in the yellow hat with monkeys or monk ease. The Temple with Curious George, G-E or G-E, this or that, right? One, side, one, one, one way or the other. At 236 is the Divine Feminine and Atlas energy and the underlying energy of the 18 of the moon and distant shores and romance. The four moons of romance under the bridge and the fourth night. The rough waters, the fort night and the fourth night of violet and emerald the 29 of the three of wands, the gift in the spiral dance of the goddess, teasing the pearl, the gift of life, the fallopian tubes, the lovers under the stars in the vortex, seeing it all from within, the light at the end of the tunnel until you are both sitting together in pure white light, seeing it all. This is energy of, of you know, uh, Hero Skamos and going into the beginning of the world. And that was coming up in Lucy. If you haven't seen the movie Lucy, it's on Netflix now, so you should watch it. Um, and it definitely shows that. And she goes through a period of enlightenment where, you know, she's thanking her mother for all the kisses she feels on her face. And she sees inside of her body and she knows what's working and she's seeing everything happen. So there's that energy and spirits connecting with me. At 242 is the Divine Feminine again, Higher Self, and the Two of Cups. And the 58 of greased lightning and sleeping beauty. So the power in meditation of sleep. And the 60, which is, we just found out, is Anu. And finding peace riding the cosmic waves as the father of all sees his children rise with the heart open wide in faith. And the 60 of source support, right? The father's support to the six hands free angel of Jupiter awakening Two in alignment, that's the masculine and feminine, gliding in to home base. The four of the simple emperor and the lambda leap. The 47 of soft dreams, of pearls of wisdom. And I'm getting of, of dr what dreams may come. And the four to seven is a sweet spot from heart to crown. And what 
what dreams may come just came up in someone's talk as well. The third, and that was Robin Williams, if you want to watch the movie. But 13 is the gifts received, five of the communal dance, and then transitioning into the gifts within the communal dance without under the cold full moon, which is the one on the 26th, and the 1212 being the new moon, and then the full moon making this unusually bright Christmas. The 34 becoming in the space between, and the 49 of the woman of light getting their wish, drenched in rays. I am woman, hear me roar, caring for the old and the young, the rings of time and the devotion to the small and vulnerable. Hercules, her harvest, journey, in planting the old to birth the new, having sown the seeds of love. The underlying energy of the 13 transformation and the 10 of wands atlas with the six of cups and the empress, the page of cups, high priestess, and the nine of cups, where Atlas is picking one flame to leave the wounded warrior or the other nine behind, the six of cups taking it to the solar plexus, and the empress taking it from 13 to three down a notch, with Scorpio and Taurus feeling that as the page of cups emerges into the high priestess, full Pisces, and here we are in March again, Pisces, as mermaid becomes maiden of the sea, from jellyfish to diamonds or a girl's best friend. As the four of wands is finding stability in her fire, the messenger of earth, and again, Ea, earth, the energy of Anu and Ea definitely coming up here, and the waves bring in to the shore, grounding justice from water to earth. Justice prevails with the angel on top of the tree. The Page of Wands is home with the Knight of Pentacles siblings, truth, balance, and alignment, pixies and angels, and the Three of Air, as the couple of royal birds witness the cardinal approach angel's wing to apologize. As the King of Fire radiates in the sun at the E-Tower, so I was just getting this message of, right, as, as a masculine apologizes to this feminine here, right, the cardinal shows up, to the angel's wing to apologize as the king of fire radiates in the sun at the e-tower ding 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 so there's the three spheres of newton's cradle it literally sets off a domino effect to get the message the word out to the others libra and scorpio or the king of wands in a sudden event or father and two children to the tower or planting seeds to reach the impossible dream the Ten of Wands and the Page of Swords and Atlas with a message at 307 where sirens were going off that could set them free from upside down world of the Queen of Wands upright or to the 5D world of the Queen of Wands romance as Aries and Cancer are upright with Pisces reversed between which would be leaving Pisces into Aries under the last full moon. So if we go from now, we have December, January, February, March. The end of March would be the fourth full moon. And remember I said the first is mid-moon. So it's like the week before that in March. The child and or queen of wands complete, completing a project or school, grounding and integrating independence. Which it was so weird too because Jenna just left the house and her Alexa went off. And then it went on, it said something and then it went off and it was playing music again. And I told them to be quiet. It took me like two or three times to get it to be quiet. And then after I finally thought it was off, all of a sudden it goes, bum, bum, you know, it's little click off. But the nine of pentacles here, oh, that's interesting too. That was at 313 where I told you the 13 went down to the three. And, the, and here's the 31 going down to the three, which is being taken down a notch was the message there. The nine of pentacles and the nine of swords reversed, stressed with lover king of swords or wondering or over ruminating about the king of swords upright with Gemini in their chart perhaps, and that could be just a twin as well, moving to peace with the page of wands needing clarity the truth to recover or get paid by the Empress upright or the page of wands divided about letting the Empress back in as the Empress is dropping the ball, the act, or perhaps dropping patterns or juggling with the queen of cups here, dropping that juggling act, but they're both upright. 
or the page of wands is unsure they want to go out in the cold, perhaps a pet not knowing who to perform for, right? Having more than one master. As the Empress or the Queen of Cups, as the Knight of Pentacles offers help to the hermit or willing to pay for advice, or the Queen of Cups with money for hermiting the King of Wands or looking to get an appraisal or estimate before there's snow on the ground. As the Queen of Swords reversed is in conflict with the Knight of Wands reversed or competing for the Empress, the Emperor's attention, or the King of Wands is with the Queen of Swords reversed and the Knight of Wands reversed is with the Emperor upright, or both having issues with workers, employees, or kids, or retaining them. As the Emperor's overworked and frustrated with weather or uninspired to forgive or apologize, but at least the worst now is over, with patient angel or the bliss of the angel, and the Ten of Cups reversed, unhappy family are tunneling through to the other side. As the magician reversed, who's insecure without tools, or manipulator and unsure which until they offer a kind word. With Sagi upright and Gemini reversed and kids or soulmates, loving memories or a positive history with the King of Pentacles tired of rejection or Scorpio moodiness or jealousy and the Page of Pentacles curious or studying or inviting to share with the Ten of Pentacles reversed who may be dealing with their dysfunction or spending or loss as far as time, money, and energy, or a family member, perhaps spending on the Queen of Pentacles upright, or asking about gifting here, where the King of the Queen of Pentacles is coming clean or cleaning up with the wounded warrior defensive at work and needing coverage to face their fears, looking back for information to trigger release of more emotional attachments or Ia's disillusionment about about plowing their way through dumping multiple loads with heavy equipment and having to get in and out and feeling bad for being harsh or trying to compete with big business, not having the tools or feeling ashamed after a sudden event or about constant drama or resisting face to face or all the drama and just getting on the same page at 349, which is the Empress and trying to get your wish or your way. As partners are going back and forth to assess worth or agree on a price or to reap rewards in downturn or slow down in a twist of fate, with Libra reversed, the King of Cups reversed is upset or detached from emotions in offering time, money, or effort for them to walk away or paying off to take a hike out in the sun or exposing all to the high priestess on break or to lay things to rest. Perhaps the King of Cups reverse is on break or vacation with sister or Leo upright perhaps and Pisces or Virgo upright. As the page of cups here, perhaps with the six of wands reversed, right? This could be under the radar. The page of cups may be going through some kind of injustice or unfairness to not come together or the injustice of bad influences of being antisocial or a wake up call or a decision made an announcement or call made under the radar or feeling like they failed, the page of cups never getting around to call. And there's this energy of one section being the 3D message, one being the 4D message and one being the 5D message. And that was coming up as the 4D. And then the 5D was coming up as prison anxiety or hands tied and dissatisfied, not given a choice about home repairs or commitments or contracts and the need to agree on a price before doing the work. As the Seven of Wands is upright and the Four of Pentacles reversed, standing up or taking the high ground, laying all the, all the cards on the table and hanging out to see another way or hung out to dry by the devil, temptation or Taurus, Pisces and Capricorn and Aquarius all upright here or perhaps their dream girl hanging out and staring in their window. The Two of Cups and Twin Flames in energetic exchange to take it easy when it's slow Assessing worth when not getting your way, with the King of Cups reversed making an offering from a manipulative place, or knowing if they give an offer, you'll walk away, or perhaps not doing that beforehand because they know you'll walk away, or payment due when job is done, energizing the quiet one, or exposing her privacy when resting. With a bad reputation, with the Page of Cups upright, the innocent one, who, whom it's unfair for, with bad influences around, or waking up Pandora's box to all that's beneath, or grave robbers perhaps, or caskets being unearthed, 
one dead and buried, not wanting to deal with it after that. Worried about dissatisfaction and no options with unstable home or visit, or done with a commitment and standing your ground to let go or close the curtains, hanging out with the devil, a beautiful woman, or because she is beautiful, it's, it is deemed her fault, because how could any man resist? So that was coming up there. Yep. All right, let's just pull a card from my Messages of Love Oracle cards. It's 409. <laughs> what did I tell you? April 9th. That's kind of crazy. 145.34 is the Magician. The 45 is the Five of Cups, and 34 is the Energetic Exchange. So that back and forth regarding some kind of emotional loss for it magically to disappear. Oh, I'm getting uh, Heros Gamos, like experiencing, you know, with your twin Heros Gamos and the beginning of the world where all of your bad memories are erased. Very interesting. And 4-9 coming up there. And what is the closing ceremonies card here? <sighs> the best and highest good of all is concern. What are we taking away? What is it taking me away, Calgon? <laughs> Take me away, Calgon. An addiction, an addiction is affecting this relationship. Everything will unfold in divine timing. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. And one more. Intuition. You already know the answer you seek. So <laughs> this is a divine counterpart connection. There you go. I'll show you them again. But And also time alone in nature will help you recharge. The bottom of the deck is past life love. Your soul remembers this intense connection. And again, it's interesting that all the bad memories coming up, you know, to be released at Heroes Gamos. Okay, so... Addiction is affecting the relationship, so be patient. Release, surrender to help you let go. You already know the answer you seek, twin flame, and time alone or nature will help you recharge. A very nice message. Okay, guys, remember your water, your rest, your joy, your nature. It's 411 on the clock, urgent information, and rise and be love. I'll see you next time.